Atalanta was a princess of Arcadia, but when she was born, her father, King Ariasis of Tegea, disappointed that she was not a boy, had cast her out onto the wild mountainside. Here a she-bear found the baby, and brought her up among her own cubs, and Artemis, the immortal huntress, trained her in all matters of the chase, and allowed her to join with the nymphs who were her followers. Now she came eagerly to Caledon, and was welcomed by Meleager and the other Argonauts. But Phrixippus and Toxius, Meleager's uncles, the beloved brothers of Queen Althea, protested when they saw Atalanta. It's an insult, they cried, to expect us to go hunting in company with a woman. She should be weaving at her loom, not mixing with men and pretending to skill in the chase. Meleager angrily bade them be silent, and the hunt began with Atalanta walking at his side, a lovely maiden, simple and boyish, with her hair falling to her shoulders, a tunic of skins, and a long bow in her hand. How happy will the man be who can call himself your husband, sighed Meleager. Atalanta blushed and frowned, saying, Never by my free realm shall any man do so. But let us give all our thoughts to this fierce boar which we seek. They had not far to go, for in a wooded down overhung by willows and dense with smooth sedge and marshy rushes, the boar was roused. Out he came in a fury, leveling the young trees and bushes as he went, and scattering the dogs to right and left. <laughs> 